what a beautiful feeling it is, guys, to know that you do a chat mark up here in the Forex trading and the market and respects your analysis, right? So earlier this week, you guys would have seen I did a, a chat mark up here of Euro GBP somewhere around this area here. So what I'm going to do is just play quickly on the recording we have here of the Euro GBP, as you all could see. Uh, we have it here. We had a, a trade set up here for um, TP1 to the 3 pips and TP2 75 pips. But we closed the TP2 a little bit early because we got signs from him uh, that the market is going to uh, have a little turn around, right? Just to show you all what we actually played off today is Friday. Today is the um, 10th of the 2nd, 2023. Uh, my name is Simeon from Trinidad and Tobago, and I'm here to show you guys uh, our quick analysis on Euro GBP that played off this week, right? So I'm going to hit play here. I want you guys to look at this. Watch how the market respected our analysis. It dropped down here, dropped down here, hitting that TP roughly around this area here, right? And that would have been uh, yesterday. That would have hit that 75 pip take profit on the market. It's still dropping, as you can see. And this area here, this is a, a nice retesting area. So we're expecting a pullback to take place here. But we'll do some further analysis here on the Euro GBP. So, guys, <clears throat> it is really an uh, uh, exciting feeling to know that you, you do a chart analysis for yourself. And the markets are respecting those analysis. All right. We had some other analysis here, really, really paid off nice. And uh, you also get involved into trading the financial markets because one of the main reasons is that uh, you have leverage over your account trading, right? And then you have accessibility to your broker that you trade with the uh, verified brokers, right? So I'm just going to just run through quickly uh, just to see what happened with the other peers, right? We have the USD card had a nice momentum here, right? It broke structure right here. Came down, right? It keeps retesting at this area here. All right. So look at that. It keeps retesting here. And then you have uh, a nice double bottom formation here. That the market is going to upside movement. If somebody um, drew here, who know about charting, they would see like a flat formation as well on the upside with the USD card. So we basically had to wait to see what's happening. If it breaks outside here, it could go um, with the continuation of the uptrend. All right. If it, however, breaks a structure. I would see here it, you could have a downward movement. And that downward movement would be roughly until our retesting area around here. So the markets could come down here and retest, right? So that's the USD card and to the GPY. We just do some quick analysis here on these pairs. Uh, we could see a nice downward trend here, but first we want to identify the past what has happened here. All right, nice retesting area here. As you can see, it broke the structure. It went a little more deep into the 786 area. We got some retesting here. So we have like a downward trend taking place uh, with this pair, right? And we have like a, a channel happening here. So if the market comes down here, you could actually have a opportunity for a short buy, a small buy, sorry. All right. I just see some trends here with the channel here. All right. So if it comes down here, you could have a little buy up to this area here. A nice 35 pips movement. That's the NCGPY. Uh, let's look at the AUD. Chef, really nice. I could see a nice trade happen in the past here, right? 
uh, lovely TP2, uh, TP1 and 2 hit here, right? So we have a little downward play here, but this looks like a nice uh, opportunity set up for a buy, right? So we can see a trend happening here too. We're gonna wait for some multiple confirmations. We had a nice harmonic pattern in this area here, right? Look at this, guys. A nice trend continuation. All right, and let's see how it respected the, the TPs. All right, let's just take a look at it. So we have both TPs set here on this setup here. We had a TP here, and we had an XTP here. So really nice street setup here, but we have an upward movement here. All right. So guys, that's a really nice analysis there on the PS so far. Here at GBP, we could have a little retest take it, please. We're gonna just wait it out and see. All right, so if you want to get some more information, you can reach out to me in the description. This is Simeon from Trinidad and Tobago.